Hello YouTube world and welcome back to Electronic Box, the channel for a second look at electronic gadgets, their value and a dose of criticism that all modern gear deserves. If you are looking for a YouTube microphone, wireless solutions, even with two channel option, there are roughly 100 or more options to choose from. I did use myself some of those like Rode Wireless Go 2 and I sold them the next day. Why? Because when I plugged the jack into the receiver, even without plugging it into the camera, I got a super bad hiss sound. When I just rotate the connector with the cable to 180 degree, the noise was gone. I said to myself, forget it. This is not something that I can trust and use in a serious production. But it does not matter which entry-level wireless mic system you choose, the result will be close to the same story. Let me tell you why those systems are cheaper. For start, they are using poor components. Secondly, their sound spectrum is not 20 Hz to 20 kHz, but something like 200 Hz to 12 kHz. And lastly, they have terrible, terrible latency or delay in the signal flow. Another thing is that when the internal battery died, what do you do? There is a big chance that the manufacturers will stop producing them and your investment goes directly to the trash right away. That's why I have started to search for mid to high end wireless systems. ENG slash Cinema dual wireless systems from brands like Shure, Electrosonics, Zaxcom, Wizicom and Sound Devices are one of the most used ones from big production companies, but unfortunately they don't fit in any shape or form in today's poor market. Let me warn you that they cost between four, five to eight thousand dollars. I can even mention a recorder that costs around eighteen thousand dollars. Are you insane? Start digging deeply in the world of dual channel wireless, which can fit many project types we inevitably will land in the territory of Sennheiser and Sony. Unfortunately, Sennheiser still don't have a proper small ENG on-camera dual-channel receiver, so it turns out that the Sony is the only sort of doable option with less than half the cost of the big boys. I don't know what is big with them other than price, but anyway, back there where we are in the Sony world. I have to admit that I am, let's say, a Sony critique, but some things have to be admitted. Maybe 90% of all cameras are using Sony sensors, so Sony has a strong presence in the audiovisual sector. Now about their dual-channel wireless microphone system that I have purchased. The UWPD27 is a complete wireless audio package that's ideal for on-camera interviews, live presentations, and other applications where you need to capture nice and clear sound with minimum hassle. The ECM V1 BMP omnidirectional lavalier microphone connects to the light and compact UTX B40 body pack transmitter that's worn by an interviewee. Audio is transmitted wirelessly to the URX P41D, a two-channel portable receiver with quick and easy wireless pairing between transmitter and receiver for use with various input levels of different camcorders and DSLR cameras. The new system provides a variable output level control of plus minus 12 dB. Equipped with a new high gain mode, the URX P41D dual channel receiver is especially useful when connecting to devices that require higher gain. An optional Smart P5 multi-interface shoe adapter simplifies audio recording with compatible Sony cameras and handheld camcorders. It actually eliminates the need for cables, AD converters and even the need for a battery. It simply connects and receives power directly from the camera MI hot shoe. By the way, the audio that you are hearing is recorded with this Sony UWPD27 system. Let me first start with the bad things. There are not many, but still we have to mention them. In 2022, I believe that we as users have to find flaws and weaknesses in any product and share them with the world. 
This is the only proper way the manufacturers to listen and make their products better. First, while they are a lot cheaper than their high-end counterpart, these Sony ENG systems are still too expensive for what they are. Two, the biggest problem for me is that when you buy this UWPD27 Sony ENG kit, you will not be able to use Sanken, Sennheiser or other popular lav mics unless you cut the cable and solder it with different wiring. I have Sanken, Sennheiser, DPA and other lav mics with small jack and all of them work with Zoom, Tascam, Sennheiser, Electrosonics and other systems and recorders, but Sony, no. This is the most stupid decision from Sony, to close the doors for the world. However, while this for me is the weakest point, there is an easy solution for that problem. This is 20-ish euro adapter that solved this right away. One end to this adapter goes to the Sony transmitter and the other end goes to the Sanken or Sennheiser lavalier microphone. And voila, you are ready. That was the bad part. Now comes the good stuff. Sony gives you the best flexibility. Two lav mics with two transmitters, one dual receiver. You got all this as a kit, with all cables that you can think of. If you need a handheld mic, as an ENG reporter, Sony can offer you a mic with integrated transmitter. Or the one that I have purchased, a plug-on transmitter that you can use with your favorite mic, dynamic or even condenser microphones. The third great option for Sony wireless system is the infrared pairing. Just bring the devices closer, press two buttons and you are connected for less than three seconds. Four positive of this system is the battery or the lack of one. Opposite to other brands that have internal batteries, Sony uses LR6 batteries. Actually, you can use almost any AA battery or you can even buy rechargeable AA batteries. This way, you are not limited to using some proprietary power solutions like Rode, for example. Now about the Sony dealers. There are a ton of Sony retailers and shops in the EU, but somehow it is important how the relationship can be built up and how good are the customer care and satisfaction levels of the company. Just by chance, I have landed on an Italian Sony dealer that was super friendly helpful and supportive and responsive. No, I don't have any agreement with them. And no, they don't give me any discount or something for free. I did pay all the products at full price, but again, their service was outstanding. Their name is Atcom and their website is here and also in the description of the video down below. If you are from Italy or from another EU country, you can still check them out. I highly, highly recommend them. There you have it guys, my short and I hope helpful video that describes the Sony ENG wireless microphone kit. If you need a Bulgarian voiceovers or video production, do not hesitate to contact me and my team at www.bulgariansound.com. Don't forget to smile more and to love people around you. Peace.